According to my data, people almost never use a point file Intel, which is making me sad, because it's a powerful tool. Let's check it out. First of all, we're gonna need some point geometry, and in case you don't wanna grab a snapshot of the real world and you don't have a Kinect laying around, you can use Blender. Get into Blender and flex your modeling skills. Come on, you can do better than that, even better. I love that. Subdivide everything, we're gonna need a lot of points. Here comes the difficult part. Select one mesh, hit file, export, choose the format, choose wisely. You need the Stanford.ply. Check selection only, make Z forward, Y up, export the mesh, in fact, export all three of them one by one. Open Touch Designer, drag in our files. It may look like nonsense now, but you can view them as points. Let's create basic instance in setup. We need a rectangle, connect it to a gel comp, add a camera. Add a constant mat and apply it to our gel comp. Now, scale down the rectangle. Connect the monkey to a null. Enable instancing and set the null to be the default instance operator. Now, if we go to instancing tab and set our translate to RGNB, we can see the monkey. Uh, you can also see the sphere or the box if you connect them to this null. That's cool, but... How to do that nice transition effect that you've shown us before? Just add a switch. Connect all point file ins, enable blend between inputs, and now you can go through all your models. By the way, remember the top mixer I've shown you before? It can also work with point file in tops. The coolest thing about point file in is that you can treat it like a regular top and do the usual top stuff, you know, like multiplying it with noise which is computed on GPU, not on CPU, and not making your computer open a 10 frames per second portal to hell. Use another top to add a bit of color. You can use a limit with quantized position set to ceiling to sort of decimate everything. It's really easy to get creative with that stuff. Just try it out. 